swimsuit Shiroko. Best pick for PvP, with one major drawback, but is she worth it? First let's go over her selling points. She reduces your skill cost by one, while boosting crit rate for 60 seconds, so she's useful for speedrun contents. Her ex also immediately applies defense reduction. Before the fish hits, her sub-skill boosts cost recovery, affect four raids that need to teams. Light like Wakamo Hovercraft high score clear, but not so much for one team clear. Back to PvP, the issue with S Shiroko is her attacks sometimes miss a lot, so pair her with S Mashiro or S Ayoni for better results. It's not rare to see both S Shiroko with zero damage. In short, S Shiroko can't replace S Mashiro, but assuming Shiroko hits, a 3-star S Shiroko can one-hit Tsuboki if she crits, but you can 5-star her to scare other players. Leave her at 3-star like me, only if you want to bait others to attack you. So yes, she's very versatile, and assuming we have no better students soon, you'll use S Shiroko a lot, but you can skip if lacking Pyroxenes, which is also S Wakamo case. She's mostly for torment, while S no Nomi has returned to shred Shirokoro HP. Moving to the event, Allied Operation is back. In this mode you fight S Wakamo and the Hovercraft. You use these tickets to fight the boss. The first run cost you 10 tickets, and if you can't finish the boss, the HP carries over, but you only need to spend one ticket for the second run onwards. So if you defeat the boss with two teams, it only takes you 11 tickets in total. You can also buy tickets from the shop, and that's the only thing this event shop has. The drop rate for items are pretty similar, so just farm whatever you need. If you need the Eligma, don't forget to clear the bosses on all difficulty, by the way. We also have triple drops soon, so if you're new and want to make the most of it, check out this video next.